Let me teach you how to create a cover page and thumbnail for your Teachers Pay Teachers product. This part of the creation phase comes after you've completely made your digital product and you're preparing to get ready to upload it to your Teachers Pay Teachers store. So we did create a product within Canva and we're also going to use Canva to create our cover page and thumbnail. The first thing we want to do is go into our product that we've created and add a page to move to the top so it could be our cover page. Next, we're gonna go scroll down to the first page and select all of the elements and group them together and then copy and paste it into the first cover page that we made. What we're doing is we're creating images of all of the files included in this resource. That way it's easy for teachers to know what is in the resource and they can just print it out easily. So I'm creating a frame around this worksheet so it could look like a worksheet. And to do that, I just go to elements and select square frame and then format it so that it can look like this. Once it's done, I group them all together again and move them and resize them as I need. I'm going to repeat this process for all of the pages so that we have everything on the cover page. The next thing I want to do is create overlapping pages because as you see, when I move my page over, it's kind of see-through and I wanna make it a page that is overlapping. To do this, I go to elements and select square, create a square and then resize it so that it is the size of the worksheet. Then I move the square onto the worksheet and select position and move it to the back. Then I change the color to white so that it looks like a white worksheet and then select all of the elements again and then group them. Now watch what we just did. We just created an overlapping page and this is great if you want to format your cover page and just kind of experiment with that. It's just a really fun um, and a great design tip to know how to do within Canva. So you see I overlapped my three images to the right and then now I'm just adding some font and minor style details on there. My style with creating Teachers Pay Teachers products is very minimalistic, and I do like to use primary colors, but I'll just add a line here or there, and you can find lines in the Elements tab as well. And then I am just making my colors to the colors of my logo and continuing this process until I have it looking how I want. Now, what should be included in the cover page? So you should always include previews of the files, which is what we did when we copy and pasted them, recommended use, um, what's included. Sorry about that. I forgot to mention that. So you want to also type out what's included as well as having the images, um, recommended use, a thank you note, and ask them to leave a review because this will help your store to grow. Link your store and your website, and you can add that as a hyperlink in Canva. Um, and also don't forget to add copyright info and credit for images or clip art if used. The copyright and the credit I did not add in this cover page, but it's something that you should include when you're creating your documents on um, Canva. So I can elaborate on that as well. All right, so now we're adding just a couple of things like thank you for your support and for this section, I always, again, like to thank them for supporting me. And then um, right there where it has my website, it is important to hyperlink your website so that they could click on there and just add a little note about how they're not supposed to be sharing this resource with other people, even though I know teachers do it anyways, but it's just, you know, you just have to make sure you put that in there so that they know that that's not what this resource is intended for. All right, so here is how our cover page looks. And now we're going to get into how to create thumbnails. And we're going to use this cover page to help us create our thumbnail. To create a thumbnail, go to create a design and select Instagram post square because thumbnails have to be square for teachers pay teachers. And then we're going to go back into the cover page that we created and then copy and paste 
whatever we want into our thumbnail page. So I'm just going by sections and just copying and pasting it in there. And then I can go into designing it how I want. And you can use the skills that you've learned during the process of us creating our, our document, our resource, and to style this however you want. Just make sure that you are including um, a few things like a clear title using contrasting colors to make it easy to read. And this is important because um, that the thumbnail is the first thing that people see. You also want to highlight a few things on your resource that people might want, like, oh, it has writing support lines. Oh, it has a word bank. So um, this is also important because TPT sends marketing emails to your followers and it is the first thing that they see. The thumbnails are the first thing that they see. So make sure it is looking nice and it gets to the point. And now if you have any questions, I am happy to answer them.